This is diesel, and it seems we love it. This year, diesels are set to take a third of the new car market for the first time. Back in 2001, it was only 15%. Even people who'd never dare utter the dreaded D word are becoming converts. So should you be considering a diesel next time round? Well, let's have a look at some of the standard arguments first. This is one of Britain's best-selling diesels, the Ford Mondeo TDCI. According to the official figures, it does 47 mpg. This 1.8 petrol Mondeo has roughly the same power, but it only does 37 mpg. So, with diesel costing about 2p more per litre than petrol, how much money does the diesel save you? Well, after 10,000 miles, I'd have saved £193 worth having but frankly I'd expected a bit more and there's a bigger problem the list price of the diesel Mondeo is 2,100 pounds more than the petrol one so I'd have to do hundred and ten thousand miles before I started saving any money at all some diesels do start paying for themselves quicker particularly big 4x4s but clearly it pays to do a few simple sums before assuming diesel will save money Company car tax rules favour cars with lower carbon dioxide emissions. In other words, diesels. But there's always been a keen debate about whether diesels cause more localised pollution by throwing out loads of nasty particulates. That's what the government believes, and it's planning to remove the tax break that diesel company cars currently enjoy from next year. So, regardless of which version of the science you prefer, the fact is that running a new diesel company car is going to cost you more from January 2006. Buy a new diesel BMW X5 Sport Auto, and according to used price guru's cap, you'll lose £5,000 less depreciation in the first year than if you'd bought the equivalent petrol. Good executive diesels also hold their value very well. But buy the same cars used and the tables are turned. The inflated second-hand prices take ages to claw back through fuel savings. In today's market, a relatively cheap used 330i is probably a much better buy than a costly used 330d. So it pays not to take all those pro-diesel arguments at face value. But there's an anti-diesel cliché that isn't quite accurate either. When TIFF tested a petrol Mini Cooper against a diesel Skoda Fabia, it was the Skoda that was quickest round the track. And the new Mercedes A200 CDI, Vicky drove earlier in the series, is quicker to 60 and faster flat out than the A200 petrol. In fact, the best reason for buying a diesel is that these days they can be as good to drive as their petrol equivalents. Take this Volkswagen Golf GT TDI, one of our favourite diesels. It's actually only half a second slower from 50 to 75 miles an hour than our current car of the year, the new Golf GTI. Diesel's creator, Dr. Rudolf Diesel, would be proud. You can even order it with Volkswagen's fancy direct shift DSG gearbox that gives you quicker changes than a manual. I've been driving it around for the last week or so, and it's great fun. I've even got 45 mpg. In fact, we're so impressed by it that we've decided to give one away as this week's competition prize. It's a five-door with that desirable DSG gearbox, and it's worth just over 20 grand. To begin with a chance of winning, all you've got to do is answer this simple question. Who invented the diesel engine? Was it A. Dr. Diesel, B. Professor Petrol, or C. General Oil? Call 09015 to enter, or text GEAR plus A, B, or C to 81555. Lines close at midday on Monday the 9th of May. We'll remind you of the numbers at the end of the show, and you can also enter the competition via our website, 5.tv forward slash fifth gear where you'll also find details of our download feature.